Oh, hey there, people. How the frig's it going? Well, Dad's over today. Yeah. Oh, and Oreo's being a bad dog. Big times. He's getting in the way of everything and stuff. And Dad coming downstairs. He's got sandwich for me. Yeah, he's sandwiches. You, Oreo, need to stop. Can you tell which ones are mine and which ones are Dad's? <laughs> nah, I better give him a hand. So remember when I said I didn't know if I was painting on Tuesday? Well, the answer is, is no, I'm not painting on Tuesday. But Dad's gonna paint today. Well, as long as when he's done, the stupid cat doesn't decide to climb on top of it and sleep on it like a table. We'll be okay. You know what? Yep. Sleep? On the back of the couch? Yeah. With that paint mixer? Yeah. Let it dry. Yeah, you know, you know what he should have done with that? Throw it in the sink? And run the water on it. Yeah, I didn't think. <laughs> but yeah, she usually sees on the back of the chair looking out the window and the back of the couch looking out the window. That's what she does. No, she goes back there and she lays in the back of the couch behind yeah. the curtain. She's going to be so sad when the uh, couch. couch ain't there anymore. She's going to be like, oh shit, where am I going to sleep now? Oh, you Oreo, enough, bud. Jesus, Murphy. Such a pain in the dick all the time. Nah, I stay the fuck down. Who's a big sucky face? Who's a big sucky face? Who's a big sucky face? Oh, the meows. Meow? Scampers. No? Meows? <laughs> anyway, Dad's in here. He's painting away. I gotta get off to work, guys, so... We'll leave him at it and let him do his shite, and then uh, we'll check on the shite tonight. Oh, the cat don't jump on it. Oh, that was grimy. By the time I'm done, the first coat, I'll be able to put the second coat. Yay! I know that paint dries quick. All right, well, we'll leave it with my fart, and I'm going to work. Well, let's get off to work, people. Go put in that daily shift. Fuck, I don't feel like it. But we'll go anyway. It's too early, man. It's friggin' 1040. Well, it's 10 in the morning. I always leave a little early so I can get my shit going and get ready to do my job for the day. Put in my time and go home and fucking figure shit out. So tomorrow I don't have to paint. Tomorrow we're installing. So that's pretty good. Which means tonight I probably need to get to bed at a decent hour so I can actually be somewhat functional tomorrow. And then the day... Or then, uh, I, I think tomorrow we're doing, I don't know, fuck. It'd be a good time to do it tomorrow, that's for sure, because, well, I'd be home to help Dad move shit around. So, otherwise, he's on his own. And I guess I'll find out through text messaging if tonight he wants me to uh, put a third coat on them or whatever. I don't know how many coats he wants to put on to the, to the things, but... If you want the third coat, I'm sure you'll text me and say, hey, when you get home tonight, grab the brush and fucking slap on a third coat or a fifth coat or whatever the fuck. Then to install that shit, it looks like it's just a hammer and a nail and fucking drive her to the wall. I don't know why my ass feels wet right now. I'm not sure what the fuck's going on. Um, pretty sure I might have shit myself. No, I'm kidding. But seriously, I question it. I don't know why, but last night I had a hell of a time falling asleep too. It was just, it just wasn't happening for me last night. I tried every single technique known to man. I just could not fall asleep to save my tits. How oh, well, at least we're off tomorrow, but I won't be able to sleep in, so. Because I know Dad's coming over and we're going to have shit to do. And I also wanted to call Pig and Jig and see if I could get, uh, get a fucking thing for the guy. By that I mean a, or a smog pump for the Trans Am. If they're cheap enough, if they're not no fucking arm breaking 200 bucks. If I can get a used one for a fair chunk of change, well fuck, I'll buy a used one and take mine off and fuck around with it while I put the new one on. And at least with a used one, I'll be able to see what they look like off, like not bolted to the engine. So then I'll be able to figure out how exactly mine's bolted to the engine and how I'm going to extract it. And that's how I do things. Probably back-assward to the way a lot of y'all do things. A lot of y'all. 
Eh? Fuck. I don't say y'all. I don't say y'all. Jesus, Murphy, I'm too north to say y'all come back now, year. Anyway. Well, yeah, I find it funny in the comments when I'm reading people say, Oh, it's funny how you're making us think that you're working back at Ontario. Oh, fuck out. I'm making us think you work back at Ontario. Did you ever stop to think? That's all I want to know. Did you ever stop to think? Uh, no, but seriously, um, Ontario's in the White Building, but I don't even think they're there anymore because I never see any cars parked out front that belong to any of the ex-employees I worked with. So, but that's okay. But the other building, the Brown Building, the ONR Building, the ONR only uses the lower levels, the uh, fifth and sixth floor. The rest is fucking rented out. That's all you need to know about that. So, yeah, it looks like I'm working back at Ontario, but I'm not working for Ontario. So there you go. Now you understand. Now you understand. Let's just say I'm not working for no government agency anymore. But I guess you can call it the private sector, if you will, or public sector, or fucking some sector anyway. I don't know. I don't give a fuck. All I know is I got a job and it makes me money and consumes my life. So, that's the way she goes. Like, fuck, I'm not going to be out of... Uh, I got up at uh, 9 o'clock to be at work for 10.45 so that I can get off work at 7.45. By the time I get home tonight, it'd be about 11 hours uh, since I woke up. Like, I never thought of it that way when I worked at Ontario, but this job here is completely fucking different because you actually gotta work your tits off at this job. She keeps you fucking busy. Oh well, we'll go put in her time and call her a day like always. The way she goes, making that fucking that chilla, chilla skrilla, and going from there. So anyway, people, I shall bid the adieu until after shift. So uh, remember, don't forget. Alrighty, people, work is over, and no, I'm not sitting in the parking lot at work because I'm actually down at the grocery store. Yay, the grocery store, the best store in the world. All right, people, I'm home from work, letting the dog out. He can go do his business. I gotta grab my groceries. Big old dirty 2-4 beer. Got me another Coors Banquet case. That stuff's good. I think I may have woken these guys up when I came home because he was pretty tired. She was sitting there, I'm walking up with the case of beer. She's in the window just fucking yawning away. So, that was something. Anyway, I got a little nervous today because Dad freaking lost my house keys. Apparently he found them, so that's cool. Um, oop, parted. Okay, so he painted all this shit. Nice. It didn't go up or anything. He's gonna come over tomorrow and do that. I guess, oh, Jesus, Murphy, just stand where I'm walking, cat. <laughs> So these are the corner pieces. I guess they're... Oh, he did put up the... He put up the corners. Well, that looks fucking awesome. Let me get some light on the subject. And he put my door jam in too. My, my door jam, my new one. Sorry for saying that. Uh, he put in the piece up here. And he put in this corner piece, this corner piece, this corner piece. Wrap around, over to you, this corner piece, right over here, all the way over to there. And then there's the kitty cat, who does move out of the way when you walk by it. And he did all over here, over yonder. This is already there, he did there, and there. Just got to do over there, and over there, but over there, and there, we'll get done. When over there is done, and then we can just fucking move the TV, move the chair, move the couch. All over to here, and if this is all said and done tomorrow, tomorrow night, I might go to Walmart, buy my throw rug, and stupid or not, it might be Netflix and chilling, but he's so stupid. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Like, what the fuck, dude? You stupid? 
Are you stupid? Yeah, you are, aren't you? Who's a stupid puppy? Anyway, I don't know, he's fucking rolling around on the ground. The little asshole probably needs flea treatment. But, um, I got some groceries. You know, besides the 2-4 of Awesome. Bought some more chemical whitener for the coffee, because, you know, not getting enough cancerous materials on my diet already. Bought some Clamato juice, so I can make homemade Caesars. Uh, also bought, um, some pizzas here, these Restaurantes. They were on sale for a buck fifty. So I brought, uh, I bought what? Fungus and pepperoni, I think. Yeah, fungus and pepperoni. And I bought some chicken wings. I was gonna have these tonight, but then I remembered I have pork chops in the fridge, and I want to cook them for tonight. So we're gonna make these tomorrow night on the barbecue. It'll be awesome. Also, Jules wants me to uh, detune her juice. I thought she wanted a six. She only wanted a three milligram. So. I'm gonna go ahead and split the bottle in half and then cut it. Mix it, blend it, put it back together. Call it a freaking day. But first I gotta shit. Anyway, I just put some pork chops in the air fryer. Probably wondering where I'm wearing my headset is because I'm about to go on TeamSpeak. The guys are like, Skivens, TeamSpeak, bud! Skivens, TeamSpeak, bud! So I better go on Skivens, TeamSpeak and see what the fuck is going on because, uh, yeah, that's happening. Holy shit. Okay, uh,. I'll talk to you guys once pork chops are done. We'll go check on the pork chops. Alrighty guys, I think the pork chops are done because it's really fucking cloudy out here. So I'm pretty sure the grease vaporized and made a bunch of smoke. Lovely. Oh yeah. Oh fuck yeah. Okay, let's see uh, if we can grab ourselves some delicious pork chops. The pork chops are ready. The pork chops. So not this Saturday because I'm working, but next Saturday I'm not working and uh, Jules is putting on a grad party for her oldest daughter who is going on to high school next year and she asked me if I could go over and do you guys remember, I want to say two years ago, could have been later than that, but uh, it was her daughter's birthday and I brought over my projector and my laptop and we played movies off of uh, a bed sheet in the backyard for the kids. Did like an outside, um, outside drive-in theater, if you will. And uh, well, basically that's what we're gonna do this year. Uh, we're gonna do that at the house and uh, get the movie playing on the bed sheet again. And it should be pretty awesome. Julie's gonna get all that set up, and we're gonna do that on Saturday. I'm off next Saturday, so it works out perfect. I don't know if I'm off Sunday, but I'm off Friday, Saturday. So that'll probably be what I'm doing then. So there'll be no live stream that night because I'll be busy. Um, I don't even know if there's going to be a live stream tonight, to be honest. We're playing Gary's Mod. We're going to do prop hunts and whatever else. So we're going to see how that goes. Should be pretty fun. I want to set up a server where it's just us and not other people. So that we can actually enjoy it and not have to worry about dicks. Because dicks are assholes. Go with it. But anyway, I'm gonna go eat my pork chops because I'm fucking starved. Remember when I said we weren't gonna stream tonight? Well, we fucking streamed tonight. So we streamed a game called Golf with Friends. It's like mini putt, but you don't take your turn. Like, you don't wait for your buddy to take his turn, everybody takes a shot. Everybody's shooting at the same damn time, so we're all trying to get holes in one same time. And collisions are on, so like. Let's say, like, I shoot the ball, then you go to shoot the ball, and my ball hits your ball. It's like fucking, remember that game Croquet? Kind of like that. <sighs> so I to go throw some beer in the toilet. But, um, yeah, tomorrow Dad's going to be here bright and early in the a.m. Or not. I think he says he's coming over after work. And I don't know what he works tomorrow. So he'll be here when he gets here, and then we're going to do all this work, like I already said. We're going to get this shit all done. And I'm thinking tomorrow what I might do, just so I can help him while filming, I might wear the GoPro and POV the whole fucking thing. <laughs> Why not? When it runs out of battery life, well, then I'll switch back to the camcorder. Not a big deal. But it could be a funny video. You know, the GoPro goes for a while on its own battery life, so I could probably go for a little bit, and that'd be pretty awesome. So it looks like he's got the baseboards. Oh, these are the door trims. Yeah, these are the go around the door. So that's probably going to put that up tomorrow. And it's going to be awesome to get my TV over in this corner. 
It'll be awesome if I can have this all set up tomorrow night. Because if I can, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. That's all I gotta say. But anyway, that means I'm gonna shut this vlog down here, people. I'm gonna get this slut all edited up and fired up to YouTubes and ready to go. I'm still contemplating on what to do. Like, I haven't made my final decision if Vlog 2000 is gonna be the end of vlogging or if I'm just gonna carry on but go for more of a kid behind a camera approach. Not the fake and scripted. What I mean is the length. Like, you watch his videos and they're like, you know, eight, nine minutes long. And I might go that route. Uh, just try and focus on one topic for a day and just go with that. Not film the drives to work, not film the drives home from work. Just fucking take her easy and film. Try and get some creativity in there too. I don't know. We'll see. That was one of the other ideas I was running around with. Because some of you are right, you know. I've been doing this for so long that it's going to feel weird not to do it. But then again, I was also thinking about taking time off. And just fucking chilling and getting my brain straightened out. So that was the other thing I was thinking about too. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Hater's going to hate. Bater's going to bait. And Vader's gonna make funny sounds when he breathes. It's the way she goes. I have no fucking idea what the hell I was just saying there. But anyway, people, I'm gonna shut her down here. So thanks for watching my video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, click that like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, well, put them down below. Bo bo oh. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.